when you say he needs, it sounds like he would die if he doesn't get it. And but since he won't, yes. how can you call it a need? Yeah? This is how you go. The Rebbe says, we've already explained many times, mitzvahs are not a means to an end. God is not using mitzvahs to accomplish something <coughs> other. It's the mitzvah that he, that he wants. If you say he needs the mitzvah, but does that, does that suggest that he would die without it? So if he's not going to die, does he really need it? See, here's, here's the problem with that, with that argument. Even with a human being, I need to breathe, because without it, I'll die. So do I really need to breathe? Yeah. No. Well, if you really need to live, then you need to breathe. So breathing is only a means to an end. Breathing will help me stay alive, and what I want is to stay alive. I don't want to breathe. Polluted air. Secondhand smoke. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to breathe. I want to live. But for some reason, my life is dependent on the breathing. So the breathing is a means to an end. I need money. Or better yet, I need a job. I need a job. I need the paycheck. To get the paycheck, I have to get a job. I need a paycheck. I need money. Well, if I want to buy something, if I want to buy something, I need the money. So I don't really need the money. I need the stuff. If I could get it without money, I would be just as happy. So imagine, if I could get that stuff without money, I wouldn't need the money. If I don't need the money, I don't need the job. If I don't need the job, I don't need a car. So all my needs fall away because I'm getting what I really need without all these conditions. And what do I really need? That stuff. Do I really need that stuff? Chocolate. So, when I say I need a car, why? I don't know. I just need a car. Are you going downtown? I'm not going anywhere. I just need a car. Then do I really need the car? Yeah, yes. And now it's not a means to an end. Will you die if you don't get the car? No. Will you be stuck? And not be able to get to work without a car? No. I just need a car. In other words, if that is the end and not a means to an end, that makes the need more real, not less real. So if you ask the Eibishter, without the mitzvah you're going to die. No. Without the mitzvah you're going to uh, disappear. No. So what do you want? The mitzvah. It's real because it's for no reason. It's not conditional. Because it is the object of my rotsam. But I thought it's to be Not a closeness. stepping stone to something else. But isn't it to bring closeness? To, doesn't it connect? You think it's a picture? Isn't it one step further? Isn't the purpose of the mitzvah to create a bridge or a connection or a bond between us and him? That seems to be the end goal. That explains why he gave us the mitzvah. What is the mitzvah? Before he gave it to us. What is Shabbos to him before we existed and were able to keep Shabbos? So, he gave us his Shabbos. Like, we didn't rest on the seventh day, he did. So Shabbos is his day of rest. What does that mean? 
And then, why did he give it to us? So, of course, he gave it to us to make the connection. But why, why, is it a, why does Shabbos exist in the first place? Because this is him. And that he gives to us, which means he gave himself to us. Because the mitzvah is really him. That's why we connect to the mitzvah. That's why the mitzvah connects you to him, not to Gan Eden. Mm -hmm. 